Hey guys, Mike here. Welcome back to another video. One question I get asked is how do I keep my Jeep looking so clean? You see it out and about on a lot of adventures and it looks pretty spotless most of the time, even underneath. Now, to be fair, weather has a big part of it. Obviously, in the winter, it's really cold here. And when it's really cold, it means no slushy snow. In March and April, snow gets slushier, so it means it's gonna pick up a lot more dirt. And in the summer, it gets really dirty with a lot of grit and dust and mud. But regardless of the weather conditions and the time of year, I only ever use two products I've got on my bumper there, and I never touch it with a sponge or a bucket and soap. Now, this isn't a sponsored video. I buy these products. They're a little bit pricey. That's the trade-off, really. You know, they do cost a lot more, but it, they do do a great job. Now, obviously, if the vehicle's absolutely caked in mud, what you want to do is obviously jet wash off as much of that mud as you can first before using this because it's more of a finishing product it's more i mean it will dissolve a lot of dirt off of the vehicle because i have tried it but you end up using a lot more of it it's kind of a waste of money might as well just jet wash a lot of that crap off first then use this and then you kind of get that factory finish on it and it looks really nice this is called pro nano concentrate so you dilute that spray it on melts a lot of the crap away and then it looks really good you know it looks absolutely spotless afterwards and if you want to put this wax stuff on which i do afterwards it generally just keeps it looking better for longer and to apply it i just use like a spray dunk you can obviously use the sprayers that you get that connect to jet washes so if you've got that system at home but anyway let's get into this what we're going to do is put 50 millilitres of ball bag shine into this little baby cup here obviously don't give that to your child afterwards but it's got measurements on it and it's just a spare one so i'm going to put 50 in and i'm going to pop that in here and then put a litre of water in so it's 50 mil per litre so i'm just going to pump this up just like you would do samantha and then basically just start spraying it on you can do the tires with this stuff as well pretty much every way you can think of Doesn't matter if it goes on the roof tent material either. I've sprayed it all over the roof tent million, millions of times. Don't get it on your ball bag. It will be too shiny. And uh, if you get that sucker out in the sunlight, then you might blind someone. But yeah, it does a good job underneath the vehicle as well, which is how I pr predominantly keep it kind of really clean. Like put it on the control arms and axles and transmissions and stuff transmissions so that's all done you don't want to leave it on there too long not really because of damage to the paint but it's going to dry and basically yeah it's going to it's not going to be as good in the end so i'm um, going to get the jet wash on that pretty much right away so they say to start at the bottom and work your way up So that's it, basically. I'm not going to touch that with a sponge, but there is one more step, and that's to put the aqua glide on. I mean the, the wax, but it comes up really nice. If you look at the paintwork, you can generally see by the behavior of the water that it's a very clean surface now, despite all the scratches in the actual paint, but you know, that's just 26 years old, so it's just the way it is. Um, what I will say though is I didn't use a hot jet wash for that. That was cold so um you, you you can use a hot jet wash but i haven't found it to make any difference really i guess the hot jet wash would come in handy first if it was caked in mud and you were prepping it to use that stuff to get a really good finish on the vehicle afterwards so um anyway do the wax if you're using the same sprayer like me just make sure you clean it out first obviously and now all we're putting in of this aqua glide is 15 millilitres into the specimen cup don't overcook it with this or else if it dries 
or let's say you're doing it outside and it dries too quickly, you're just going to get marks all over the vehicle and they're flipping difficult to buff out. So, um, yeah, that's half of that. That's more like 20, so I've fucking screwed that up already, but whatever, fucking shut up. So obviously with one litre of water. And I pump that sucker up like it's party time at the zoo. Pretty sure you spray this stuff on top to bottom, unlike the other one, but I'm not sure. I haven't really found it makes a difference. Shake it up a bit. All the water should start running off, basically. I'm spraying you, spraying you like it's the first time again. Aquaglide depleted. So what we need to do now is blast this with a jet wash. Actually, that isn't what you're meant to do. You use a jet wash, but you use it really far away. So you're not actually blasting it off, but you're just kind of, kind of, kind of like laying water on it and letting it run off naturally. Once you've got the excess off, there's a number of things you can do now, and it really depends on where you're washing it, obviously. I mean, I'm not going to teach people to suck eggs, but if you're outside in the sunlight, this is going to be a problem anyway, whatever you do. Um, so you don't really want to wash your car at that time of day. Do it in the evening when the sun's gone down or something like that, or in the shade, whatever. But if you've got a garage, um, you can just leave it in the garage wet like this. Just open the hood and the tent a little bit, just so you get that natural runoff to help the water go away, and it'll be fine. It will look sparkling new in the morning. There'll be no marks from the wax or nothing like that. The only time you'll get what, uh, marks from the wax is if you use too much of it. If you stick to the guidelines, it will dry and look sparkling new. But I'm going to use a microfiber towel to speed this video up. So I finished drying it off and as you can see, it looks pretty spotless. It's looking really nice. Um, you can even hear when you rub your hands on the paint how clean it is. Obviously my Jeep is used quite thoroughly. There's a lot of scratches in the paint. It is quite old, but the paint is in pretty good condition considering the age. So you kind of have to take that into consideration. But on a newer vehicle, it's obviously gonna come up like, um, you know, really nice, like much nicer than mine. But you can see on the panels and the way the Raptor liner looks, everything is basically spotless. It's one of the few products that I've used. In fact, the only product I've used, but I'm sure there's more out there similar to it that makes Raptor liner look like it's just been sprayed on. Because normally with Raptor liner, you spray it on, it looks great, but you start using it and, and it's not quite the same. And if you do a really textured finish, what happens is, is that the fine grit that you get in water and, and kind of dust and everything can kind of build up in that bed liner and be a bit of a problem to remove. And a sponge and soap doesn't always cut it. So it's one of the products that I've used that actually do that actually does get the vehicle back to looking like really nice, um, even though it's a, a used vehicle. Pro Nano is a Dutch product, um, although they do sell it here in Sweden. It is kind of pricey, I will give it that. You know, it does cost a lot of money, but you can stretch it out and it does last a long time. And, you know, it makes the job, in my opinion, easier. I mean, for me, like, when I think about maintenance, maintenance is a repetitive thing that you do. You want it to be as easy as possible. You kind of want to cut out the annoying side of it. So, you know, that's kind of why I use these products because I basically don't have to touch the vehicle really. And normally, given that I wash the vehicle very rarely in winter, when I do wash it, it's obviously below freezing outside. So I would wash it in the washing station in town, which is indoors. I drive it to my house. I'd park it in a warm garage that's ventilated and then just let it air out. I wouldn't normally use a microfiber towel at all. I just open the hood and the roof tent a little bit so that you've got that runoff in the areas where the water sits. But 
you know, it really depends where you live and what facilities you've got and what, what the weather's like. But, you know, to answer the question, that's how I keep the Jeep, Jeep looking really clean. So I hope you enjoyed this video. A um, bit of a different one from me, but a question I get asked all the time. I hope it answered it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I'll see you very soon in another one. Take care. Yes, I love you, shining.